Hey hey, welcome back! Today we are going to show you how to use the basic drag and drop possibility and this is quite easy one. We are going to use 2D project and we are going to use physics to the overlap point. So let's get into it. I will just create a 2D object and sprite in order to detect if we overlap some point we need to have a collider because this is what is being returned by this method so let's add collider maybe we are going to use some sprite let's use this knob sprite and increase the size of it to six and let's add the collider which is circle collider okay i will not bother about making it exactly the same size as the size of the sprite it doesn't matter so let's create the script create c sharp script and i call it drag and drop i will drag and drop <laughs> our drag and drop script onto our sprite save it maybe i will change the color of it because my background i believe is white as well just to see it let's open our script in visual studio sometimes i work with visual studio sometimes with visual studio code i like them both anyway let's get rid of the comments and we need to specify our collider so this collider will be the one that is attached to our object so let's do it we'll call it collider 2d don't forget about 2d and i'll call it this col collider like so because later on we will have to specify another collider so we have both um, in the start method we want to assign this collider so this collider gets components of collider 2d and parentheses like so this is all we need to do in the start in the update we have to get our mouse position so let's do it let's create vector 2 and call it mouse position and assign to it camera but actually camera main is not a good way of doing it but it's not that efficient to be honest to call the camera main all the time in the update method we should have specify uh, the camera so maybe i will do it straight away to not show you a bad practice so we call it cam and in the start method i will just assign a camera main main to it like so and here we are going to use our cam and now we need to use screen to a word point which is here and we need to add our input mouse position like so save it and now we need to check when we are going to click and drag if our mouse cursor is on this collider or whatever collider we want to move so let's put if statement and now if input and i will use get uh, get mouse button get mouse button without down this is what i want really and now if we press and hold our mouse button we want to create a collider 2d call it call and assign physics physics 2d and then overlap point overlap overlap point to it and we want to shoot this point from our mouse position so mouse position next if we hit something if we get this collider we have to compare it if this collider is the same collider that we have attached to this game object so let's check it if with if statement so if call is equal to this collider then the magic happens what magic um, we can move this object so let's 
change its position to the mouse position mouse position like so and this is pretty much done this is not perfect i will show you in a minute why it is not perfect but let me press play and show you something so if we click and drag anything nothing happens but if we just go on to our object it is working but now see what happens if i move quickly like so you see our cursor went out of the area of this game object and the if statement is not working anymore if we move it onto it it is okay but if we go out it doesn't work anymore so in order to fix it we have to use some bool a variable so let's call it on the top so it will be a pool and maybe let's call it um, is being dragged maybe is being dragged dragged and we want to make it false at the beginning so now we have to uh, change this uh, variable in whenever we need to so if the collider is the same collider we want this variable to be on so is being dragged equals to true but now we want to move this object whenever this is true so we have to get this out of this um, if statement i will put it there and put another if statement so if is being dragged is true then we want to move our object okay this is pretty much done but we have to change the state of this boolean when we release our mouse button so let's add another if statement or we can really just put else and then we will put is being dragged equals to false i think this should be working fine so let me go back to unity and now you can see that even if i move really quickly it still holds to our mouse position like so and the good thing about it is that if i duplicate our object maybe let's change the color of it like so and maybe duplicate few more times oh, like so press play so now whenever we click on each object this affects this object of course if we go over and our mouse position will move out a bit and you know just check on some other object it will become active as well but this is something you might come handy you might like it or not but this is what i wanted to show you how to use this overlap point because this is a really nice option so yes this is it i hope you will find it useful and don't forget about subscribing and liking the video and see you in the next one